not even maxed out yet. Alright, let's go see who I can help now that the water's back. Do something, queen! She doesn't give a hoot. I think I'm feeling worse and worse every day, and people say the water dragon's causing all sorts of problems. Maybe the Ryoshima coast will never be at peace again. I can't bear all this worry and pain anymore. Oh, when will it all be over? Oh, heavens. Yeah. Oh, treasure. An infinity stone. Free food. What is this building? It's a chunk. What? stole my symbol that's copyright <laughs> you can't reuse it I did not consent to having it reused <laughs> what the fuck it's just random graffiti Oh my god, I love this game. <laughs> what the hell is this? That's a carpenter's plane. They use them to smooth out wooden surfaces. Yes. Ooh, get slapped. <laughs> Why do people happy? Why does that emote make me smile? He looks so stupid. But it entertains me so much. Who are you? Oh, this oppressive weight. I cannot bear it. What's wrong, Gramps? What's wrong? You sick or something? Huh? Oh no, I'm not sick. You're not? What about all that a about a weight you can't bear? It's my soul that ails me. A tremendous weight presses upon it. I think that's a, the tree growing into your head. Blossom protector, Mr. Flower. Oh, what has become of our city? This accursed mist has covered the entire area of late. It slowly but surely tortures us as if we're being strangled. At first, we thought that a thick fog had rolled in, but then people started falling ill. Worst of all, the cherry blossoms I worked so hard to take care of have withered and lost all their blossoms mood can I bloom your tree bloom your house nope Feels bad treasure you obtained a crystal wah, wah. Thing in his house. I can't bloom it in here, can I? It'll just get yeeted into the darkness. Feels bad. Wait, is that treasure in here? I see you, you can't hide. My brain is too galactical. Galac ga galac galaxy sized. Galaxical. Galaxian. Big. Alright, let's go into the other part of town. Oh, uh, you can't do your double jump after your air dash. You can't jump dash jump. You gotta commit. I can't believe. It's on this wall too! <laughs> I can't. And that wall. It's all over the place. 
in here. It's multiplying. It's smugly judging me wherever I go. I'm being smugly judged. All right, let's go through here. After I get this, of course. Wow, pitiful. Wow. The city's big wigs live across the bridge ahead. That area is crammed full of awesome places. One of them belongs to Queen Himiko, ruler of Nippon. You can tell because it's really huge. I've no idea what she's like, but I'm not sure I'll like her. I mean, she doesn't seem to be doing anything about this mist. Plus, I make it a point to never trust queens in the lake anyway. That's very uh, pragmatic. The aristocratic quarter. The aristocracy. Any chest in the water? Dude, look at that. That doesn't look ominous at all, huh? Hey, brother. <laughs> at last, the time is near. Binke, the fisherman monk, shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. You want to fight? Wandering warrior monk Binke. I have traveled far and wide, challenging master swordsmen, and 999 swords I have claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000, and thus aimlessly I have wandered. That is, until a legend drew me to Cyan City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Yo, let's get it! I want it! You heard the legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard, but they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my 1,000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable, and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access for the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over at the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of white, like new fallen snow. There's no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> That's that's blinding snow, the rod from the tool dealer. With that fine rod, I would at least, at last, have a chance against the living sword. Now be a good doggy and give it here. No. <laughs> Bad doggy. Did you not hear me? I must obtain that 1,000th sword. Yeah, yeah, I know. Goodbye, blinding snow. Desist in your stubborn refusal, you cur. I could catch that elusive living sword with blinding snow. It's my only hope. Yeah, yeah, you can have it. Oh, happy day. I have never fished before, but it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now, to catch that 1,000th sword, I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Need help? Hmm? I've been holding my rod over this water for some time now, at least four seconds. However, the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Yummy. Hod Hoodhead here is never going to let us across at this rate. Time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show them how you do it. Fish the living sword out of this lake. Yeah, bah. Hoodhead sure is a handful. I wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. Bum -ba -da -bum. It's time to fish. Okay, I mean, you get the basic idea, right? Yeah, I remember. Don't know what we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. What? I think I hooked something. Go for it, Hoodhead. Pull, pull. Don't let it get away. Oh, I almost forgot to do that. Yosh! He's fish. Killy fish. Yo, I caught so many of those in Yakuza. 
You won't get away from me. Schmack. Yosh. A goby. Oh, a big boy. I bet that's it. You won't get away from me. It's a big eel. Is this the living sword? It's trying, dude. It doesn't want to get got. Holy shit. It takes three. At least three. teeth cutlass fish the living sword well have fun with that the gods be praised at last at last i have fulfilled my dream y yeah good good lower the bridge thanks so that is the living sword that is what i've been pursuing all this time i don't take it so hard i mean that was one big cutlass fish and a cutlass is a kind of sword isn't it Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace. But enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. He just had to butt slam. Yo. Thanks, friend. Dude, look at that tornado. What? Whoa, stop, Amy. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains, so what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, furball. If that's the palace over there. It's, oh, shit, it's this dude. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, mon chéri? Ugh, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back at Orochi's cave. Why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? Excusez-moi, but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Ah, some prophet you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is. It's just getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Well, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, mon chéri. Huh? This city is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Ha! <laughs> we got you all figured out. This funky mist and your so-called path to the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all. Admit it already. Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about the mist now. How about a trip? How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. <clears throat> Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. 
or something like that. Understand, mon chéri? Yes, I need to get the hammer from the ship to get in the thing to do the thing to get the thing to do the thing to save the thing! Spoilers. Look at this line. I'm cutting! Thanks! Losers. Just walk inside. Ooh! Free shit! Exorcism slip in. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, lady? Land of the gods. It is said that a holy realm called the Celestial Plain is situated in the heavens above Nippon, where mere mortals dwell. This legend is ancient, and no one today knows of or speaks of it. However, I have been entrusted with the knowledge of this sacred place. One day I was visited by a man who wove for me a strange tale. He said unto me, The celestial plan, plain has met its end. He related the horrors of this destruction to me at great length. His talk was unbelievable, but his eyes showed no reason to doubt. I only wish I had the fortitude to recount his harrowing tale here. I am afraid my brush cannot bear the heavy burden of that sad fate, because it would spoil the game. It seems the celestial plane was destroyed long, long ago. The gods' spirits, rendered homeless, still inhabit the earth. I try not to think such thoughts when I gaze up at the sky. Pepe hands. Thunder ear. Okay. Gross. Fish tome. Dude, there's a lot of fish in this. Holy crap. You got almost three whole pages. Wait. Oh, hey, girl. Why are you in such a hurry? I don't know. Why not? Well, who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, wolf? Then allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao, and I'm the regent of Cyan City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. Holy shit! That's Jiggle Boys. <laughs> the sound effect! Priestess Rao. So what's troubling you then? Holy cow, this sister's stacked. Thanks, Isun, we noticed. Excuse me? Oh, you've got a cute little fairy with you. Her name's Isun, and by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Melons? Oh, never mind. Anyway, so you're running things around here? Well, there's a funky mist covered in the city, and the, there's talk of a water dragon or something offshore. So what's up with the queen holding, holding herself up in her palace? The people of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How can she be so lazy at a time like this? So you've sensed the evil forces over Yoshima too, then. I heard that the dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field, though a brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of those waves of chaos are reaching Yoshima too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea and an ill mist covers Cyan. And in these last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. She said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Mm, a creepy shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. Wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryoshima Coast. What are you muttering about, Isun? Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but the great slayer of the dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold, the great Amaterasu. What? This wolf? But I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. Huh? Uh, well, he may have dealt the final blow, but Amy here did most of the work, I tell ya. And if you don't believe me, Amy's gonna show you divine powers right here, right now. I am? What was that? You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's divine powers. A mere taste of what the Celestial Brush can do. Celestial Brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Amy can't do. Except interact with cat statues, or walk on water, or like the four other powers I haven't got yet. Maybe this wolf... Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. <laughs> Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling. 
Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that I've lost my prayer slips, the situation's completely hopeless. Come on, tell us what you want. Doesn't matter. Forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your power. Livy, please. But without my prayer slips, there's nothing anyone can do. Just have your prayer slips then. Duh. See ya. Have you ever considered not not having your prayer slips? Hey, this guy made it here. Ah, oh, you're that white wolf I keep bumping into all over. I'm traveling the land to spread the good teachings of Buddha. There seem to be so many places in need of guidance. I can feel it here too. It's going to be a battle. Concentrate. Look hard. I cut you. What? That was fast enough to get the reward. That's pretty slow. But this sword does damage. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for 32 seconds. No, I didn't do it fast enough. Roll it again, chief. shot that guy humans are not witness but I saw it 22 seconds I've seen you fight many times now and I'm constantly surprised by your incredible strength even the great darkness that lies before you is probably nothing that you need to fear it seems your journey is not nearing its end I want you to take this it will protect you along your way Ooh, a bead radical from 20 face thanks friend oh that's cursed Oops, that's the wrong button. Treasure! You obtained Crystal Light. This powdered drink is pretty okay. Dude, I drank so much Crystal Light when I was younger. Holy crap. I had a problem. A pearl! <clears throat> hey girl, thanks for the treasure. Oh, it sucks. I take it back. <laughs> We're Animal Crossing now, dude. It's a song my grandma taught me. Apparently, the water dragon that's causing havoc in the sea is actually a god from the dragon palace at the bottom of the sea. Did you know that, doggy? What a cutie, dude. I like it. You miserable mutt. No doubt you came in here at night thinking you could steal food. I won't allow it. Not on my watch. Okay, bitch. I'm biting you. Fall on your ass. Well, well. What are you doing out so late at night? It's not safe around here lately, so you better take care, dog. Thank you. I will not bite you. You're not a dick. 
Dude, this city is so grim. I gotta save this place, man. They need a hero. Look at the shit coming out away from the palace. Holy yikes. Oh, what's over here? Oh, damage. Don't go that way. Cursed. Can I get in this house or is it cursed? Ooh, treasure. And big damage. That's a lot of damage. Hey, there's a cat statue. I think the cat statues must let you wall climb. Cause look at that. There's a big old wall climb opportunity right there. But I don't know how to how to jive with the kitty cat statues yet. Oh, it's daytime. Not that you'd ever know. Jive with the kitty cat. Oh, that's all cursed. That's all cursed. Guess I'm going this way. These guys probably won't let me through. Yay! We're Queen Himiko's bodyguard. She's in her palace at the moment, praying for the city. I'm under orders not to let anyone disturb her, and I take orders seriously. So that means you too, mutt. All right, I'll go this way towards the gate that looks pretty not good. There is so much treasure in this city. We built this city on treasure and wolves. Oh, being up. More crystal light. I hope it's mountain berry flavored. That one was the best. Steel soul sake. I wonder what's wrong with the Emperor. His illness must be the cause of his strange behavior. Oh, what a sweet little doggy. Maybe you could lend an ear to that poor husband of mine. He's been so troubled lately, he'd talk to anyone. What a nice lady, dude. She wasn't an ass like the other one. You came here to steal my food! I go up here. Nope, oh, cursed. Dude, this town is not good at all. I, I feel like the whole arc, this whole second arc is going to be in this town because it's pretty big and there's a lot of cursed zones. Unless it all gets like cleared out at the same exact... Ooh, look at this shit. Psst. Psst. Can you hear me? What? We're supposed to be on duty. Well, it's just, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, what's your opinion of His Highness? What do you mean? Surely you're not doubting the worth of our honorable emperor. True, he's had to take to his bed because of this strange illness, but I'm full of hope. Full of hope! That will soon make a speedy recovery. And I am too, of course, but there's something about his strange illness that bothers me. That swirling mist is a little out of the ordinary, don't you think? The moment the emperor took ill, it started to come from his room. And then, before we knew it, it had taken over the whole city. People are really starting to suffer from it, too. Well, don't you think it's all a bit of a coincidence? It's definitely odd, I'll grant you that, but it's no use trying to ask His Highness how he feels. He just sends everyone away and he won't even see a doctor. So I don't see that there's anything we can do about it. But what about that girl locked up in the cell all alone? She shouldn't be locked up like that. She's done nothing wrong. I mean that girl called Kaguya, right? Mm, orders are orders, so we had no choice but to lock her up. But I can't quite see why His Highness wanted us to do it. The city's in a real mess ever since he took ill like this. I wonder what's going on inside the palace. Me too. Look at these. It's the prayer cards, I bet. Mm -hmm. Check out these slips of paper. It's the nip slips. I mean, the prayer slips. 
Looks like each one has a spell or something on it, but I have no idea how to use them. Don't think they do us much good. So I gotta take these to the lady to help me get into the ship, to get the thing, to get small, to go through the hole, to go to the palace, to talk to the dude, to get through the thing, to save the city, to save the town, to save Mr. Krabs, and save the Krabby Patty formula. Spoilers. Use rock to break glass to get rock to break glass to get wrench. Hey, mama, I brought your cards. What have you? My prayer slips. You found them in this huge city? Thank you. They're indispensable in my fight against the evil beings. I was sure one of them had stolen them from me. Thank goodness. Yes, your ability to sniff things out really is a divine power. Your name is Amaterasu, correct, Wolf? Well, Amaterasu, would you please put your powers to use for us? Mm, you saying we're the answer to your prayers? I'm saying you're our only hope. As you have seen, Ryoshima Coast is in turmoil. All because of the evil rising from the darkness. Because of the forces of darkness. Forces of darkness? Yes, next to them, the monsters out there in the wild are nothing. They're starting to spread over Yoshima Coast. And with Queen Himiko confined to her palace, it all falls to me. Normally, I'd use my holy powers to dispel any threat to the city. But this foe's too strong for my tits. So I have no choice but to ask this favor. Lend me your powers. That means we'd end up helping Himiko after all? I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy to me. There's some who think the queen is a coward to shut herself away, but she cares for her subjects. She's praying for our protection, but even she can't calm the water dragon and exorcise the city. Not without that sacred treasure to enhance her holy powers. That's why I want you to help. What I want you to help me find. Please, Amaterasu, let me ask you once again. Will you listen to what I have to ask? No. No, I will. Oh, what the heck? Let's hear what this stacked babe has to say. Stacked? Anyway, when you came here to the city, did you see it? Right off the coast near the Yoshima border, there lies a sunken treasure ship, a victim of the water dragon's rampage. That ship was a trading vessel, working between here and abroad. It was transporting a great treasure ordered by Queen Himiko. But the water dragon attacked every ship in the water. It sunk the ship and its precious cargo right in front of the port. The fox rods that the queen had finally managed to locate. A matchless treasure with the power to defeat any foe as long as the plot allows it would have been Cyan City's, no, Nippon's greatest asset. If we had the fox rods now, we could drive out the evil beings. Matarasu, will you come to the treasure ship with me and help me search its cargo for the fox rods? You want us to do what? You want us to search for treasure on a sunken ship? Well, I'd do anything for a cute babe, but if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help this busty babe or what? Dude, he's so thirsty. Holy shit. Bummer. Wait, I said yes, you papega. Well, the boss has spoken. Huh? What was that, Amy? Thank you, Amaterasu. You're a true savior. Dude, I think she just hit herself in the face with him. Okay, let's go to the treasure ship right away then. Although, we must wait a while until the new moon rises in the night sky. In the shallows where the ship ran aground called the Lunar Lagoon, the tide only recedes when the new moon is seen from the moon turret. When the tide is out, it's easy to get into the treasure ship. We'll meet at the ship on the night of the next new moon. Okay. Okay. 